you, you ready to talk to you. We see you talking to you. Are you talking to you? Are you talking to you? You ready to talk to you. We see you talking to you. Talking to you, I'm talking to you. Talking to you. Easy, man. I had to go left, but all right. So I seen you on this is fifty. You kind of went off on me. I had to go. Uh, uh, what happened? How'd that come about? Yeah, man. Um, you know, I, I was there. You know, they, they there's a whole another part of the interview. They just took that part of the interview and put it out, which I'm not tripping on. I mean, you know, they're a media outlet. They want to get attention. You know what I'm saying? I was talking crazy, so they 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 took that part out. But um. Yeah, you know, we were, we were talking and we got on onto that subject. So they asked me about it, and you know, it's a different platform. It's not solely a it's not a battle rap platform. So you know, there's some people, believe it or not, that don't know the story. So they, you know, I I explained the story and I said what I said because I you know I just felt like saying it. You know what I'm saying? It's not even about anything else. It's like I'm telling the story, so I'm going to say it exactly how I felt. You know, I wanted to say it. You know what I'm saying? So that was it. You know, it wasn't anything like that. Like, I, you know, I said what I said. I stand by what I said. I'm a man, you know, and, you know, if I say something, I, I mean it. I'm stand in front of it, and I'm an owner. And, you know, that's the extent of it. And then today, you know, boom, you got to take the good with the bad. Today, the big yeah. hits record thing. And then, Ether 4, Ether 3, bam, bam, bam. Oh, Happy that Magic is coming back. 
You know what I'm saying? He, he's crip walking in his living room. He's hyped. Drop the song on B. He got me. He got me. But I, I, I'm, I, I am thinking about doing a diss track, though. Because I think mean, there's a lot of going to have fun with but I'm never going to get the money back. We already know. Money spent on, you know, backyard boogie weed and whatever else he uses or whatever. Oh, That's how it is over. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to write the money off. I'm going to leave him alone. You know what I mean? Until I feel like poking at him again just to, just to do it. But, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm going to leave it alone. You know, he said his diss track. Maybe I'll do my diss track and then we'll end, we'll end the battle. But, I mean, listen, guys, be thankful. It's been boring out here. It's been boring. He's glad yeah. you know, there's no battles yeah. are dropping, so it's been boring. Like, this is entertainment. You got a full B Magic song. He has cameras and shit. He be shooting his own little videos. B Magic is nice was um for his video production. So he might drop the video on me, throwing darts at my face and something like that. So all the people that don't like me, you know what I'm saying, they can get excited like, oh, he got you, B. Oh, man. But I might come out with my diss track. I'm learning how to rap. So you might hear the Beasley diss track. You know what I'm saying? And that's all I want to say about it. It is cool. You know, it's no, you know I, I'm not any angrier or more upset than I was about him stealing the money now than I am, you know, after hearing the diss track. I'm actually glad that he's in a good enough place to be able to make music and still rap. Because I still think in that shallow soul of his, you know, there's still some talent in there, and I was able to pull it out of him. So, you know, congrats I mean, to him on the song. Is it, is, it, is, it, is it that much money that it can never be repaid? No, it's, like, like, you it's not even, like it's I mean, like, I don't know his situation. I don't know what he can afford. You know what I'm saying? So I, I don't know. Well, I'm pretty he, sure you know, people are Huh? My fault, go ahead, my fault. No, I mean, if, no, if he I mean, pays you the money I, back, would you be open to him the battle again or no? I don't think he has it in his soul. I don't think it's about, you know, I don't think it's about that I'd be open to battle to him again. I just don't think he wants to battle. That's what he said. He's retired himself. I didn't retire B Magic. He just battled right before no. He had a nice match with Kayshawn. Let's see what the outcome is, what the fans and the consumers think oh, of his performance. Exactly. He's yeah, not inspired. Yeah, right? but I inspired him today because look what happened. Everybody said, Fire! B Magic Jones, shit, B Magic is back. I inspired him. I sparked a fire in him. Now, maybe me and him should battle. I would take the loss. But you know how many views they would get? If I battle B Magic, me trying to battle him, and he just coming mm-hmm. off of Peter Paul's field the ball. Peter Paul's move with them ill punch lines and that flow, I'll be dead. Nah, I can't be be magic rapping. But I'm down to make a diss track, though, for fun. I will. I do have access to a studio, and I can make a diss track tonight. And if the people hit me and they tell me oh, they want shit. me to make a diss track on be magic, I'm going to make it. I'm going to have some fun. I don't know. Oh. Because I'm, you know, I like lyricism. You know what I'm saying? But I'm not a lyricist. So I may have to do it like Migo style, like mad simple, like be magic. Mm-hmm. This is tragic. You know what I'm saying? Like something real simple and slow. <laughs> but you know what I'm saying? Just to have some fun, though, but it's fun, though, Cap. You know what I'm saying? Like I, at this point, like I, 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 I have come to the realization that the money's never coming back. It's, it's cool. It's gone. I did say what I said because somebody asked me. So when I feel like, you know, somebody did something funny or foul, I'm going to purposely do something to get a reaction. And guess what happened? He did exactly what I wanted him to do. This is all I, all I wanted was an answer. All I wanted him to do was speak up for himself. And now, look, he's going on the radio. I just heard an interview with him. They asked him about 15 questions regarding the situation, and he couldn't answer any one of them, further proving that I am right once again. So I just did this just to get a reaction. Okay. I clearly said that on the radio interview, on the This Is 50 interview. I just said, I just want a reaction. I want, to, I want him to say something. I want him to, to speak up. I want to see, I want the people to see and understand that this man has no answers. You know what I'm saying? He's saying, oh, I didn't get paid. I got jerked to this or that, whatever. But this is, there's, no, there's no answer. There's no there's no time. There's no nothing specific. He would have said that seven months, eight months ago when this happened. That yo, I did that because 
on this battle, I didn't get paid. But if you're getting jerked, why do you come back and continuously battle in the same place that's stealing, that's not paying you? I, that just doesn't, it's not, uh, that doesn't make any sense to me. So but he's I mean, lying he was, saying that? Was, was he lying? Was that a lie? That he doesn't, that he got shorted on his money? Yeah, and, and the song he said that he's the one who, uh, he said he was battling people who got paid in full, but he wouldn't get a second half and all, he would be short and stuff. No, he's never, he does, he's not owed any money. I don't owe anyone any money. You know, I stand firm on that. And you can ask a you can ask Kidman, you can ask to call, call all his cohorts from his city, the great champions of St. Louis who show up every time and battle and, and do their job. They know that they get their bread. You know what I'm saying? I have one. Sometimes it might take longer than, than anticipated, I'm thinking, right? Is no, that what it is? There's been two, there's been two incidents where, like, dudes didn't get paid the day of the show. You feel what I'm saying? And basically what happened was, yeah. like, sometimes when you work with big venues, they'll just flip on you and be like, hey, guys, uh, we're going to write you a check tonight. And you'd be like, yo, come on, my man. Like, you told me you, I would have taken money out of the bank if you would have told me that. Hey, man, the manager's rule. Sorry, man, it's a certified check. You'll have it in three days. Like, a nigga would say, i would tell you that, like, at seven seven o'clock, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, like when the bank is closed yeah. on a Saturday night, there'd be like nothing you can do about it. So, um, you know, there was a time, and you know, and Verb tell would tell you this, like, and that was the time was like it was like that was like the time was like like over seven years. That might have happened like two or three times, like eight years, like but different times, like spread out, like years apart. And then and all and a verbal mm-hmm. attestor, you can call him on the phone. He's like, Yo, I don't never have no problem with y'all. Like the most I ever had to wait is like a day. And then there was a time where that happened to us. I didn't but like if we go to like different clubs, that's happened. Like that happened at Gnome Three. And, you know, that's when, you know, we had like uh, me and Hitman had this big argument and shit backstage and shit. He'd tell you laughing about it or whatever. By the way, how Hitman Holler came to know um to know him seven and shit. You know what I'm saying? He was on stage watching the battles. You know, he's chopping it up laughing or whatever. You know, even though we can't come to an agreement on pricing, it ain't nothing. You know what I'm saying? Like, he was welcome with, with open okay. arms. He came, chilled out. You know, we chopped it up. You know, we was messing around. What's up? You ready to get back in? And he, oh, man, you know, man, you know, how we going to need, you know, what I need, man, you know. But it's all good. But, um, like, it was Damn. like we couldn't. They wrote a check, right? So, like, Yo, before dudes left the airport, we went in the safe and got the bread and met them at their hotels before they took off. So it's never like a thing where it's like, oh, man, it's been a month and I didn't get my money. Yeah. And now I know there's other police, there's other leagues and big events with people with way more money than me that never got paid still to this day, never got bread. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, I stand firmly on that. I, everyone that's ever battled on URL, they got their money. You know what I'm saying? The most they might have to wait wait is like a day or two because something happened. You know what I'm saying? But never because like, oh, yo, man, I don't have your money and uh, it's going to take, you know, a month. to You know, you got to wait a month to get paid. Never. So it would just be like they'll write us a check and so they'll tell us that they're going to give us cash and then write us a check, a certified bank check. So it would be like, damn. You know what I'm saying? Yo, just give me till tomorrow. Get, you know, it's Sunday. Get Sunday morning, my man. Just give me till Monday. I'll get it out of the bank and I get it. Yeah, when the bank's that's open, yeah. Fault, but not that you got shorted and debted because the way he's making it sound like he got debted on his bread and, you know what I'm saying, and then, like, um, you know, he you know, he just was quiet about it. Nah, homie, never. You never. Because if you got debted on your bread multiple times, then you then why would you come back and continuously battle for the people that dead you on your bread up the time? That just doesn't make any sense. But I, you know what though? Let's let's move on off of the B magic thing unless we just having fun with it. Mm-hmm. Unless y'all want me to do my diss track. I I'm not gonna badger the man no more. Like if you listen to his his interview, man, he's a defeated soul. He's over with, man. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Hopefully he gets some help. But I, I do like the fact that he came back and, and did his disc record and showed some gumption. You know what I mean? It shows that he's ready to that he's ready to go to war. You know what I'm saying? So maybe if I get my bars together, I will step in for one round of versus B Magic in St. Louis if he's ready for it. You know what I'm saying? But if not, you know, 
fun on some. If you could do some disc records back and forth, I'm gonna practice my rhymes tonight. See what I can come up with, and if the people hit me up, I definitely do a disc record to um to respond to B Magic's disc record. But I'm not gonna, you know, I want to try to stay away from the interviews. I'm pretty sure more people will call me to ask and follow up about it. But I mean, everything is pretty much the same. So you know, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? I see a couple of clowns doing a subliminal uh, input, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, I have fun with Subliminal this. input. I love battle rap. I love the culture. I love what this is. I, I'm excited about it. I have fun with this shit. And, you know, I, I don't care. Like, I love, I, I was so excited that he did this record. So, um, A-Bird had hit me up and sent it to me and shit. Like, yo, man, firing on you. You know what I'm saying? I was like, yeah, we got him, baby. Working, I got him. You know what I'm saying? So my mission is my mission is achieved. I'm, you know, I got him. To, I got him to work. I got him to go in there and do some work. Even if I don't, you know, I'm not gonna get no money back from it. You know what I'm saying? But you know, I, I made him spend some time and go in the studio and really sit down with the pen and the paper and and, and give a disc record against another guy who's not even an MC. So you know, I got mine. You know what I'm saying? And we've had like four or five successful events since his event, but what people don't know is when he did that, I got mad chargebacks, too. So I lost crazy bread. I ain't just lose the money that I bought for his plane ticket and his flight right. and all that shit. But we lost wild bread on chargebacks because fans were, you know, people came in, and even though we told them that he wasn't battling, they just stayed, watched the show, then went home. It's like, I want a chargeback. He wasn't there. And, then, you know, mad people hit so us up. And you and you and he lost back. You had to if they requested it. And within that 30-day period, they charged back to him not being there and got all their money back. How much money y'all lost on the charge back alone? Lost a few thousand, bro. Oh, shit. You know what I'm saying? I didn't even know That's that why shit. It wasn't just his little, you know, it wasn't his, his, his fee. You know what I'm saying? When you do that, they can charge back. Like, oh, I went. He wasn't there. Just give me my money. You know what I'm saying? And charge back, charge back for it. That's all you know. Damn. You know what I'm saying? It's all good. Like, you know, look, uh, you know, we ain't hurting. You know what I'm saying? We, 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 we moving on to the next couple of events. But I just, you know, for me, it's just a friendship. You know what I'm saying? I just don't like, I don't like that feeling. So, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Maybe did I go too far? Maybe did I talk about it for a long time? Hey, hey, BG, hey, BG, you talk about it far away. Yeah, I know. I say, you know, did I talk about this shit for a lot of times and run it into the ground? You damn right. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't like when dudes mm-hmm. run for the mountains and run to the shadows, whether they're running from battles or running from life. You know what I'm saying? So I call it how I see it. You know what I'm saying? And I stand by everything I say. If I say anything about anybody, I, I respect the consequences. The consequences came in the form of a diss track. You know what I mean? Maybe I'll respond back with a diss track. And that's about it, man. I mean, I'm not going to run into me, Magic. He's not going to run into me. He's not coming to New York. I don't have any plans to go to St. Louis anytime soon. You know what I mean? So it just is where it is, and we just leave it where we leave it. You know what I'm saying? I just had to give him one more round of of humiliation just for my own, you know, just for my own, uh, you know, just to to feel better for me. You know what I'm saying? I had to get my money back some kind of way. I got my money back. I got some attention, and I made him work. That's all I wanted to do is I wanted to make you work for me. And that's what I did. You did your diss song, put out some work, and I got you some attention. I got you popping again. And I just want you to understand that I have the power to do that, to build you up and to destroy you. You know what I'm saying? But I just want you to have, I want you to do better, man, and just be a man. It's my last word to you. Just be a man, dog. Just admit what you did. You took the money. You're scared to do the battle. You don't have no answers for it. If you come on the show, talking tomorrow, you're not going to have no answers. You know what I'm saying? So just let it rest where it rests. I'm, I'm going to leave you alone. But I might send you a diss record. I'm not going to talk about you no more. But I might send you a diss record back just in all in fun just to keep the battle rap shit going, man. This is energy. This is WWE. This is wrestling, homie. This is fun. I love this shit. I'm passionate about it. I fight for battle rap to the end. You know what I'm saying? You, 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 you,